A big day for more than two dozen courageous LAPD officers. They received the department's highest honors. KCAL 9's Dave Lopez shows us the ceremony and their heroic stories. We were, we were determined to get both the, the male and the female, the driver and passenger out. And you just go do what you have to do to uh, save the person's life. Two of the 27 LAPD officers who were honored today at the department's annual Above and Beyond Awards Ceremony. Honors for Medal of Valor, Purple Heart, and preservation of life. Both officers rushed in, regardless of the fact the car was on fire. A lunchtime crowd of nearly a thousand people at the Bonaventure today heard the stories of heroism. Officer Garrett Brooks, Officer John Carlisle, rescuing two people from a burning car and a bus that was about to explode. After you did it and you thought about it, did you say, we could have died? After the fact, yeah. It it was a little, you know, reality set in. This is what we do day in and day out. I mean, it's nice to be recognized for it, but we don't do it for that. We do it because this is what we do. Sergeant Morrison got a rapid trip to the hospital. Sergeant Joseph Morrison, a Medal of Valor and Purple Heart recipient for going into a burning building to go after a barricaded suspect. Grabbed him, pulled him out, and the last thing I remember was pulling him out of the, uh, out of the building. And then Sergeant Morrison passed out, was rushed to the hospital, but he got his man. And for the second year in a row, a new award was added to the program. It's called the Preservation of Life, an award for not using your weapon. Did you ever think you'd get an award for no. not using your weapon? Absolutely not. Officer Michael Burtner was one of 16 officers to receive the Preservation of Life Award. In his situation, a man with a knife and a large rock confronted him and three other officers. But they subdued him, arrested him, without firing their guns. How close did you come to shooting the guy that day? Very. Probably, probably the closest I've come while working on the job was, was that day. Don't call them heroes, they said. They're police officers just doing their job. From downtown Los Angeles, Dave Lopez, KCAL 9 News.